Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back. It is only like seven o'clock in the morning. I had to put some mail in the mailbox and thought I would just go ahead and update you for the rest of this weekend since we did some heavy spending yesterday on Friday and I put up all of those grocery hauls yesterday and then we did some Amazon spending today. One thing you will not see in here is one of the giveaways that I have ordered from Jordan Budgets will be on its way shortly, but I will not reveal that price or anything with that being said. And you will also not see the price that it cost me to mail the packages yesterday to all the giveaway winners for the 20 sided dice that I had left to give away. So I'm not going to put those prices that just came out of my buffer because I don't want anybody knowing how much I really spend for those. Um, it was quite a bit, but it was worth the spend. Trust me, it really was worth the spend. And that is something that I do is if I take into consideration that I am going to mail out giveaways and that it's coming out of my budget and it's not going to come out of this expense sheet whatsoever. So with that being said, those numbers have to be given today, the tracking numbers to those who got the packages mailed out yesterday. And that will happen through Instagram as soon as my son decides to wake up this morning, they'll all probably much, pretty much sleep in. So we're gonna go ahead and go over my expense sheet and then we're gonna go over the menu plan now that we have revamped and are redoing everything when it comes to grocery shopping. And my kids are already feeling so much happier, y'all. It's, it's crazy how much the foods that they like to eat will end up going fast. <laughs> Nothing will get wasted. I won't be frustrated that I make a meal that the kids are like, eh, they pick at it and they don't really want to eat it. These are meals that I'm making that my kids absolutely love. As I said yesterday, some of them are not the healthiest choice. There's a lot of convenient food items in there. But if it's what my kids need to eat at this time, then so be it. I'd rather buy convenient food and have them eat it and be happy than to buy other foods that they're not really happy with and have it thrown in the trash. Because even if I bought it on sale, it is not a sale item if it's going in the trash it doesn't um, help our family at all for just t pitching it so if you hear any baby snores in the background I apologize my chihuahuas went out this morning did their business outside came in they ate and now they're asleep on my bed right behind me so let's go ahead and get started with this right now all right so like I said we had a lot of spending yesterday and with that being said um, our breakdown was Walmart was $112 and I did round up y'all because it was like 111 and some change so if it's got a change at the end I round up to the next number so Walmart was $112 Hy-Vee between the order that I got in from Hy-Vee from Instacart and me shopping at Hy-Vee since I dropped my packages off up there because they have a service counter that you can actually take your packages to versus trying to stand in those long crazy lines at the general post office, I'd rather go to Hy-Vee because right there, inside Hy-Vee, y'all, they have a Starbucks too. So anyways, you saw that picture yesterday, my son's picture with him with his Starbucks. Once again, that came out of my buffer that does not come out of these expenses. So Hy-Vee ended up being 110, Sam's Club last night was 79, and Aldi ended up being 84, giving us a grand total of $385 now. That is not what we're gonna spend every single week. All that food you saw yesterday will last us longer than just the next couple of days or the next week. Some things I will have to repurchase. As I told y'all, we are going to repurchase things such as fresh bread, buns, things like that on a weekly basis as needed. Same thing with fresh fruit and vegetables. We did buy three gallons of milk, two gallons are in the freezer, one is in the fridge. But with all that cereal I bought yesterday, y'all, my kids haven't had cereal in months. So they were excited and it, that milk will go in no time. So if I have to buy more milk, that would be what I'll have to do. So if I buy anything next week, I'm gonna think that I'm probably going to start buying on Wednesdays. Um, that seems to be the day that most things are in stock and not out of stock. So we'll look into that. My grocery budget is not gonna be this high every single week. We are just revamping everything and we are redefining the way that we shop and how we shop and what groceries we buy so the first couple of weeks may be higher than normal but it'll start to settle down afterwards and then today this morning I placed three orders with Amazon in fact I placed two 
but the first order was $100, y'all. That included two items that my daughter is going to need when she comes up here to babysit my house in June while I'm over with my husband. And the other items, there was two additional items, y'all. I did go ahead and buy the laminator. I'm so super excited. And I bought a pack of 200 laminated sheets. I did choose the 5ml as I was recommended to choose. So thank you for everyone who's told me about getting the 5ml versus the 3ml. It's not only more durable, but it's heavier material that you can write on any race. So I will probably have to buy more than the 200 sheets that I bought. If you guys saw this five inch binder next to me, you'd go crazy on how much printable sheets I have. But with that being said, laminating these sheets that I have from all these Etsy shops that I support to build my budget binder is going to be able to be reused over and over and over. So buying a laminator and the laminating sheets is absolutely priceless for me. It's something that I'm never gonna have to buy a budget book over again. Some people do like the convenience and they like the different colors in that of buying actual binded budget books that you write on and then once the year is over, you have to buy a new binder and those can get pretty expensive. So I will be showing you that here shortly in the future. My laminator is coming, I believe, on Sunday, Monday at the latest. The sheets will be in, they said today. So I'm super excited about that. Then I went back and I bought two other items, but I listed them separately, but it's one order. I bought some sticker paper, 30 sheets for $7. I wanna give that a try. You all know that I just bought a ton of stickers from a lot of different um, places. And with that being said, I'm able to print the stickers and cut and put them on the budget binder that I have with my printables and things like that. Now, with that being said, that will pretty much be on my calendar that my son bought me, a two-year calendar. He got it for free with some points that he earned on a program, so I'm super excited about that. I'll be able to finally use that, and I'm going to let my kids do the stickers, y'all. I don't have a cutter. I don't have a Cricut. I don't have a Silhouette yet, so I can't cut the stickers on a machine like that. I wish I could, but I can't until I go ahead and save for that y'all like save I'm not pulling this where I'm buying things on credit anymore and trying to pay it off that is ridiculous you saw how much trouble that got me in with Aaron sales and rentals with the refrigerator so we ain't doing that mistake again so with that being said um, went ahead and got the seven dollar thirty page sticker paper stickers won't be cut properly you know this this is gonna be my kids cutting the stickers out um, but at least they'll be cut and we can peel and stick them and then my kids have the fun thing of sticking stickers where they belong. This is also gonna teach them planning. Two of my kids are homeschooled, as you guys know. One is in public school, but I am teaching them how to budget, how to plan for things. They already know how to do the prepper pantry. They know how to rotate items in and out. We do grocery lists together now on a weekly basis. And it's just making the house run so much smoother. So we went ahead and got that. And then I ordered some labels as well, some print to edge labels from Avery. But they were on Amazon and that was $17. I believe there was 150 labels. That is so I can label all of my bins downstairs that we are working on a what I consider a container system. And I will get more into that here in the next couple of videos. This is the way that we're going to never, ever have to deep clean, spring clean again. It will be cleaning surfaces and windows and, you know, doorknobs and all that good stuff. But it's not going to have to be in the situation of doing the Kamari method anymore or the purging of large quantities of things. I will go further into that. I was speaking about that in my prepper pantry side a while back and I kind of let it go to the waste side. Y'all, I just gotta buy the shelvings and the containers and I have it down. These labels are also gonna go on all my containers that I have for like my flour, my sugar, my spices, all my dry goods upstairs as well. We are currently gonna remove everything out of our pantry upstairs, which is basically our cabinets, and we're gonna wipe it all clean today. And then we are pulling a whole bunch of canned goods and box goods and anything that we need from the basement in the prep pantry upstairs to the kitchen. I am resetting again. I do this quite often. I'll rotate 
if I run out of corn too quickly, we'll go down and reset and grab a whole bunch more corn and put it back in its slot where it's at in the cabinets. I have some open shelf systems also in my kitchen. You all know, have a very small, never been updated kitchen and I cannot stand it. Um, I would love to buy this house and update the kitchen myself. But as of right now, the landlord's still not looking in that direction. It's kind of irritating because I would love to rip this kitchen apart and just redo it. But until then, that's what we have. So the labels will go on a whole multitude of different things for organization uh, purposes and make things easier. If I tell the kids, go grab the container of rice um, that's sitting on the open, one of the open shelves in the kitchen, they'll know which bin to grab because they're all little containers with lids. So with that being said, that was $124 for today. Now, what I haven't thrown in here yet, because I put it underneath my bill selection instead of in here, because it's a monthly bill, is I did go ahead and make my first payment on the self-credit builder. Y'all, that is a program that you can choose one of four levels. Depending on what level you decide to choose, will depend on how much you pay and for how long. I got this from Two Moms Budget. If you go to her channel, Amber has it listed down in her description box in the in below the videos, where it'll say Self Credit Builder. You click on her link, she'll end up getting a little kickback for that. And then you can go into the program. The program allows you at four levels, 25, 35, 48, or 150 dollars. Depending on which level you choose, you may have to pay a whole two years before you get that money back. It's basically like a locked savings account. You cannot get to that money. You cannot draw it out before the term is over. But as long as you pay every month on time, don't miss a payment, y'all. I've been warned. They will report to your credit. I have heard as high as 40 points. Now, I've been told it takes a couple of weeks for it to start kicking in and showing on your credit report, but it helps build your credit. After the term of that amount is done, for example, I chose the highest level of $150 over the next one year. Next April, they're going to kick back $1,664 back into my account. My credit is going to go significantly up and it's going to help me be right there at the, the level that I need to be to be able to be pre-approved for a house loan and actually own my own house. With that being said, that $1,664 is going to go into my prep pantry binder. So when you see me stuff every month, $150 into the prep pantry binder, remember, that's going to be prop money and that's going to be money that's actually going to be stuffed every month because that's the money I'm paying to the self-credit builder that when next April gets here, that money is going to reset our entire pantry. I am going to grocery shop for $1,664 worth of items, including household and things like that. It's going to stock us up like crazy. So that's what we have for Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Nothing, y'all. We are going nowhere. We are cleaning house. We are still doing the Kamari method probably for the next two weeks. It takes us some time, y'all. We can't finish everything in one day. And there's sometimes a project may take us two or three days, but we're going to get it done. And this is going to be the last time, and I'll speak further more about that. So let's go ahead and get into my menu, but this was $509 for just two days worth of items. Oof. That doesn't include my bills that were already paid for the entire month. Usually it comes out on the third, but being it a Friday, I called the companies that did not already take their bills out and I said, get your money today. Even though it's supposed to be auto drafted on a third, they wouldn't auto draft to the fourth. And I'm like, mm -mm, get your money out today. So, with that being said, that's what we had for that. Okay. And I just showed you the back side of this, which actually has the information for the paper that I just had. So, here is the front of that paper, because I'll write on the back so I know exactly where I'm going for each paper when I do things. So, for this section, <laughs> this is our menu. Y'all, I sat my kids down and I spoke with them and I said, look... You're not eating a lot of the foods here. You guys are complaining a lot, and I don't like my kids to complain. Do not think that my kids are spoiled rotten. They are not. If they don't like the food, they don't like the food. And if I don't like the food, I don't like the food. So it's not a spoiled rotten thing. Like some people, oh, well, your kids are spoiled. No, 
No, they're not. They just know what they like. So last night we had the take and bake pizza, which was Friday down here. I'm going to go with Friday and then loop back up because we did have pizza last night for dinner. Um, Saturday, which is today, we're just going to do soup, salad, and sandwiches. You guys saw the hy French bread that I bought. There's four loaves of French bread to make um, homemade Subway type meals. We can do soup. We can do salads. We've got all the vegetables in stock. We've got so much soup downstairs in my basement. It is absolutely crazy in all different kinds of flavors. So we're not worried about anything there. And we've got plenty of solid stuff. So Sunday is going to be a fend for yourself night. You saw some meals that I showed you yesterday for fend for yourself. They can use the air fryer with french fries. They can make their own um, chick patty if they want. They put a lot of things in the air fryer. So um, we've got that going on for Sunday. Back up here to Monday for this coming week, we are going to have, what are we going to have, y'all? I forgot. Oh, that Tao Chicken. That one that I showed you that we got at Hy-Vee yesterday, y'all, those bags were only $6. I got two bags. Chinese is so expensive, and my kids love Chinese. And I have got, hold your horses and buckle in your seat belts, but I have got 300 pounds of white rice. Most of it is in Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers in the basement, okay? But, with that being said, I have a bunch of rice upstairs. I have all kinds of rices, y'all. We love rice. We got all the different flavor packets. We have got the 90 second rice. We've got the Uncle Ben's type rice. You name it, we've got it. You know, we've got the Kenora side rice, all of it. So, anyways, I'm gonna steam some white rice. That seems to be one of my kids' favorite rice. So we're gonna do that with that towel chicken. We'll just do one bag, see how they like it. Also, those bags can also be used for like lunchtime for the kids here at the house. Uh, because I do have to eat lunch, y'all. After that, the next day on Tuesday, we're going to have some popcorn chicken with some vegetables and some mac and cheese. That's another good thing that your kids like. Walmart was limiting the popcorn chicken. In fact, that was one of the items they said yesterday they were out of. So while I found out they were out of it at Hy-Vee, I snapped up two bags because they were fully in stock with their popcorn chicken. Um, so I picked up two bags of that. And with that, it's going to be super easy. They got the mac and cheese and the veggies to go with it. So, and they can choose whatever vegetables they want. I'm not picky with that. We've got frozen vegetables. we got fresh vegetables. We've got canned vegetables. It's all good. On Wednesday, we're going to do the burgers and the fries. Now, Jesse's not a, too big of a burger fan. Y'all got a ton of hot dogs in my freezer, too. <laughs> hy V had a sale where hot dogs were super duper cheap, and I snapped on it a long time ago. They're in the freezer. They're still good because we've had some in the last couple of weeks, and they're good with that. So Jessie will probably get herself a hot dog. She'll probably pull out some chili out of the freezer. She loves chili cheese dogs. She'll add a little nacho cheese to it. And we're going to put that with some of the shoestring french fries that we got from hy V. Another thing Walmart said they were out of was shoestring french fries and I thought really come on now you know when I go to Walmart it's not shocking that I go in there and they are fully stocked online they'll say they're out of stock I do know somebody that works for Walmart who actually is a subscriber on my Without Limits Missouri Prepper channel and he told me that sometimes it just hasn't gotten put into the system so it'll look like it's out of stock but you know what I don't buy a lot of things that are being said, not what he says, because these shoppers that walk, work at Walmart are the ones that are actually shopping for your groceries. And then it's Instacart that picks it up. They just pull into the parking spot, they tap that they're there, the Walmart employee comes out with the groceries and, and puts it into the cart. So it is the Walmart people, employees that actually shop for the groceries when it comes to Walmart. It's not Instacart, okay? It is Walmart that doesn't. Um, and I'm sorry, it's not Instacart. I, I apologize, I, I said that wrong. DoorDash, DoorDash is the ones that pick up Walmart, not Instacart. I got Instacart on the brain for some unknown reason, so I apologize, I made a mistake. So the rest of the kiddos will try the cheddar bacon burgers. Now, let's let you know in on a little something something on me. I am no longer going to maintain a vegan and or vegetarian lifestyle. 
I am actually gonna start incorporating some meats. Now I'm gonna do it very slowly. I've done it a couple of times and got super sick and my digestive tract couldn't handle it, y'all. I've been vegan vegetarian for a very long time and I know it's kind of hard to say vegan vegetarian because a lot of vegans get mad because I used to be a full on vegan um, and eat no dairy products, but now I have some cream cheese, some a little bit of sour cream, but I'm not too keen on it. That's mostly Jessica that eats it in the house. I mean, I could put it in my chili or something like that, but that's about all I can do. And I do some milk-based coffee creamers every once in a while, and that also can get to my stomach sometimes. But I wanna add in some beef and some chicken. I do not eat pork. I do not like pork. I do not enjoy it whatsoever. And I don't like turkey, and neither does any of my kids in the house, believe it or not. So pork and turkey are out. The only turkey that my kids will eat is turkey bacon, and I think it's disgusting. <laughs> but with that being said, just so you know, I am going to be adding some 93% lean ground beef to my diet. And I'm also going to be adding some chicken products. And that's pretty much the extent that I'm going to go into the meat world. Um, I just need to get my protein levels up because I don't eat a lot of fake vegetarian or vegan meats. I won't do it. And I hate tofu. So, you know, I've got some problems there. So I just wanted to let you know that in advance. And on Thursday, we're going to do breakfast for dinner. Um, we got everything from pancakes to sausage. Y'all, I've got like three, four bags, I believe, of the banquet sausage links. Y'all, I got two maple and two original and I've had them for a while and they're each a 50 counts. So we got 200 sausage links in stock. Okay. We've got a ton of bacon throughout all my freezers because they haven't been sorted out yet. We've got shredded hash browns, bags of those. We got tater tots that we also sometimes use as hash browns um, for our meals every once in a while. And we got full on 20 count hash brown patties as well. So we are set. We got toast. We've got bagels. We've got English muffins. We've got the different flavored cream cheeses that I absolutely love. That's another thing that I do eat is some cream cheese. So that's more of a vegetarian than vegan because um, vegans don't eat that at all. So that's what we're doing, y'all. That's what we have for you today. So I'm going to be back later on. I'm going to go through all my expenses one more time. I'm going to start setting up my sinking funds now that we've changed things and gone into more focused areas. I have some money that I will be stuffing on Monday of this week. So it'll get real interesting now that a lot of my debts have been paid off and the small itty bitty debts that I have and I will say that the cell phones that I have are not even really considered a debt, even though we're paying on them, because our actual credit that we get from Verizon every month is actually paying those phones off. So we're just letting that whittle it down right now because none of that is coming out of our actual pocket. That's coming out of the credit that we have with Verizon on a monthly basis. So we're just paying off one credit card right now. We are paying on the self-credit builder every single month to build my credit. The debt that I told you earlier a couple of videos ago that I owe like $180 on, I'm gonna start making $25 a month payments on it. I'm not gonna pay it all off, but foul swoop. I could, but there's no interest on it. So why kick my butt right now when we're just now getting to the point that all this money is coming back into our pockets? And remember, when your guys are paying off debt, okay, Every debt you pay off, you're giving yourself a pay raise in your pocket because that money's coming back to you and it's not going to a lender and you're not slave to that lender anymore. So anyways, y'all, that's what I have for you today. I hope you have a blessed Saturday. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, please remember to stay safe. Without Limits Budgets is out.